In this video, I'll show you how to set up the sound testing station for lesson one. This is when students test their homemade cup speaker. And it's a good idea to go ahead and have the sound testing station one or two or even three set up ahead of time so that groups of students can just go up and test their cup speaker pretty quickly. This sound testing station uses materials that you already have available from the sound unit. But there's another way to do this using a mono auxiliary cable, which is supplied to you. Either way should work. So I'm gonna show you the setup using the existing materials that you already have, but again, you can use the mono plug system and it should work. I would recommend testing whichever choice that you decide to use ahead of time just to make sure that it works. So I have a device here, a computer. Students can use a tablet, a Walkman, or any device that has an audio jack, a standard audio jack. And I've used this mono plug adapter that was provided in the sound kit. And I've also used alligator clips that have already been cut in half and stripped down to the bare wire. And I use the screwdriver to screw the bare ends of the wire into the mono plug adapter. So now that it's already set up, a group of students could really just bring their cup speaker with their wire taped to the bottom up to the sound testing station and all they need to do is clip the ends of the wire onto the alligator clips. They need to get a good connection here or else they might not um, get their cup speaker to work. So encourage them to make a really good connection and make sure the alligator clips are on tight to their wire before they begin. Now it's a good idea to go ahead and have music already loaded onto the computer that you know is appropriate for them to play. And so I have a song here, I'm playing it. You cannot hear anything. And so that is why students take three to four disc magnets up to their cup speaker and they play around with. Moving those magnets near and far from the wire. So I'm actually gonna bring this a little bit closer so you can hear it. And when I take that magnet away, no sound. So this is really interesting for them to think about what the magnet is doing here if sound is not just traveling down the wires to the cup speaker. But for some reason, having this magnet come near to that wire gets the speaker to work. So again, this is one way you can set up the testing station using the existing materials you have available. Um, this should make it pretty quick for groups of students to come up and test the sound on their homemade cup speakers.